There are 170 days until the opening ceremony at the Tokyo Olympics, and athletes across the Northwest have been busy training. Chris Egan has our first Olympic dream story. Tonight, we meet an archer from Bothell that's been shooting for over two decades. She's won lots of big events, but this year could be her best chance to live out her Olympic dreams. Bothell's Erin Mickleberry is one of the top archers in the country. She first picked up a bow and arrow at summer camp when she was 12. It was a week long camp. We did it once a day and I just fell in love with it. I was like, as soon as my mom picked me up, I go, mom, this is the best sport in the world. Aaron began training at the Kenmore Gun Range with coach Mike Wixer. Aaron's done a pretty good job. She's learned how to compete. I think her personality wasn't one to compete, but she has learned how to handle the pressures pretty well. Aaron stayed on target. And when the bullseye started adding up, the winds did too. She has always been one of the top shooters in the US. Even from a young age, she was she had the ability and the, the talent. In 2019, the Mount Lake Terrace and UW alum hit a career high when she won a gold medal at the Pan American Games. It felt so surreal. I mean, it's like as we were standing on the podium and they were putting the medal around our neck, it was just like, wow, this thing is heavy. <laughs> this is amazing. And then Having the, the national anthem play, it was, it was great. Aaron is currently ranked number three in the Olympic trials, but earning a spot on the U.S. team won't be easy. Oh, I think it's a dream or a goal for anyone. Yeah. Um, someone who's been in any sport for so long, it's like they've got to have that drive. Otherwise, why would they still be doing it? I think it would just be great like to be able to say, hey, Bothell, look at this. <laughs> Aaron works full time and trains five to seven days a week, shooting 400 arrows a day. It can be a lonely grind, just a bow, arrows, and a target. But if you hit the mark, it's all worth it. It's kind of hard to like describe. It was just a feeling. It was just so nice to be able to pull it back and hear that very satisfying thunk in the target. And when you have a great shot, you know it. It feels good. It lands good. It's like, you're just, wow, that was a good one. Aaron is one of five archers from the Kenmore Gun Range on the U.S. national team. We'll meet another young shooter with Olympic dreams in a few weeks. I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.